I'm sure if you're watching this video, you're quite familiar with Donkey Kong. It was one of the real early video game classics, and it's still a game that people love today. Obviously, there was numerous home conversions, including the Commodore 64, you can see in the top left, and the Atari 400, uh, I believe 800. Now, the first computer I owned was a Texas. Uh, I got that before I got my Commodore 64. Now, I've sold it because I had one game and it was absolutely pish. However, through the wonders of emulation, the mister, etc., I have discovered the Texas TI-19940 Donkey Kong. Oh my! <laughs> what an utterly, utterly fantastic version this is. Now, what you need to remember is the Texas was a very, very early machine. I know the Commodore 64 and Atari were quite old machines, but these, you know, both these machines were uh, highly revered. You know, there was lots of fantastic games that came out for them. Um, the Texas TI-19940 is not a machine I associate with good games at all. Um, and when I saw that, when I loaded this, my jaw literally hit the floor. I mean, it's it's just such a brilliantly authentic version of the arcade. Sound effects, the graphics, yeah, I think the, you know, you can see the uh, some of the, the sort of enemy sprites. Uh, now, that's the thing, the Texas did have sprites. People wrongly use the phrase sprites when they're talking about Spectrum games, Amstrad games. Um, they didn't have sprites. Um, the C64 had sprites, I think the Atari 100 had sprites, and certainly the Texas did have sprites. Um, you can see the enemies, they're, they're not animated, um, and they're only single colour, but everything else about this game just screams quality. Um, there was a guy uh, called the Reverend, um, Stuart Campbell, hails from Bathgate, not far from me, he was uh, quite a prestigious uh, games journalist back in the day. I think uh, it was like Marmite, you either loved him or hated him, but uh, he did a, a review of the Amstrad version and uh, it's utterly, utterly brilliant. It's, it's probably the best home port of uh, Donkey Kong you're likely to see, and I'm including the, the sort of more recent versions. But no, the reason I wanted to make a video of this is I was staggered when I saw this because when when I hear the when I hear people talk about the Texas, I just I automatically think of that really piss poor game that I bought from I think it was probably the back of computer and video games. It cost me the princely sum of four pound ninety nine. Um, I never had any other games for it. My mate uh, James, who was doing an IT course down at Reading uh, University or Reading College, he uh, came up one weekend and he, he programmed, I'm not going to say programmed Defender, he attempted to program Defender in the Texas and the, he only got as far as moving the ship up and down in the firing. Um, but suffice to say, I use, I played that more than I played that infernal basic game that I bought. And for the last 40 years, I have hated the Texas. Um, I did actually buy one, well, maybe about two or three years ago. I just bought it just to have in my collection, and I sold it shortly after. I thought, why are you buying it? It's crap. There's no decent games for it. But, honestly, this has utterly changed my opinion. If I had got this game back in 1983, I think it would be, I think I would have still... I would have still have eventually sold it, but I probably had the Texas, I don't know, not even, no, nah, I was going to say not even six months, I reckon I probably had it a couple of months, um, and then I sold it, can't remember who I sold it to, um, but anyway, I do apologise in advance, however, if that person is watching this video, then I uh, can I uh, ask you to go out and buy this game, or download it, or whatever, <laughs> But yeah, if I had this game, if I'd seen this game back in 1983, I would have been far, far happier to keep the Texas for a while. I mean, look at it. If you don't believe how authentic this is, load up MAME, go to your local arcade, go to your arcade club, and compare this. It's just, it is awesome. Yeah, there's there's some, it's not perfect. If you look at the, like, the hammer, um, and you can see the hammer on the left-hand side, I'll hopefully get it here. 
you'll see the hammer does from time to time kind of disappear. I think that's, I don't know, it's probably just a hardware limitation or it could just be that it wasn't particularly well programmed. But everything else about this this version, I mean, the actual graphics are absolutely spawn. Look at the detail in Donkey Kong. Look at the detail in... It's not Princess Peach. I don't know who that is again. I can't remember. The, the bird at the top that you're trying to, uh, trying to rescue. The graphics themselves look phenomenal and I would probably say is apart from the NES version of this which is pretty much arcade perfect this is superb it really really is yeah the colour is slightly lacking you can see Mario doesn't have his blue hair um, and like I says the, the enemies um, are all kind of monochrome but from a playability point of view and a graphical point of view this is just utterly utterly sublime and I will definitely be doing uh, some streams on this. Now, I, I was never really able to feature any games or look at games for the Texas because I was using a, an emulator and it was just as fiddly as anything. Um, I really kind of struggled to get it working. But uh, through the wonders of the mister, um, it plays games perfectly. It's dead easy to get them working. So I am definitely going to be doing some, uh, some future videos showcasing some of the games in the Texas. I think there was a, a sort of Defender clone called uh, Parsec, I believe, and um, that's one that used to uh, that used to get a lot of uh, praise. I think it also had some speech synthesis. I can't even say that word synthesis as well. But yeah, honestly, this is totally sublime. Now I'm interested to see. It's had it's had the first level. It's got the elevators. It's got, has it got the pie screen yet? I don't think it has. Let's see if it's got this. If it has, then it means it's got every level. Ba -dum, ba -bum -bum. It's even got a little uh, rendition of the tune. There you go. Yep, it's got all the levels. I mean, seriously, folks, what more do you want? You know, yeah, I know there are some slightly better versions of this out there, but by Christ, this... This is awesome. Yeah, that's Donkey Kong, and that is on the Texas TI-1940. As always, folks, thank you very, very much for watching.